Hello guys, Lifehackster here. Today I'm going to test if the Yi home camera will be able to record even without Wi-Fi. A lot of you have asked if the camera uses a lot of bandwidth or eats up a lot of your data plan on your phone. As you know, the camera has a memory slot and by default it records to a micro SD card. The only time it will use Wi-Fi is when you're viewing it from your phone or if you signed up to their cloud storage. Basically you set it up and change the settings using the app and the app communicates with the camera using the internet and through your Wi-Fi. So as long as you're not using the app and haven't subscribed to their cloud service then the camera will do its thing independently recording as per the settings you set initially and will not be using any Wi-Fi. Now you may ask why I'm doing this. Well, there are a lot of Wi-Fi cameras out there like the Ring Doorbell which I also own and I also have their flood light camera. There are also the other popular brands like the Nest and the Netgear Arlo to name a few. These cameras are Wi-Fi dependent in recording their videos which I think is the Achilles heel of these cameras. So I'll give you a little scenario. Some bad people are scoping your house and they were able to access your utility panel which most of us have them outside of the house, on the side or the back wall. Anyways, they were able to turn off your electricity and also cut off your phone, cable, internet line while they're there. So for most of us, turning off the electricity in your house basically will turn off the cameras and the internet. So if you have the cameras that only record to the cloud, cutting off the electricity and the internet will render them useless. They will not be able to upload their video feed. Anyways, this is the reason why I'm testing the Yi camera because it records first by default to the micro SD card. So on this test, I'm going to see if it will be able to record even without Wi-Fi. Here I hooked up my 720p Yi home camera on a portable power bank that I got from Walmart. I'll talk more about this battery pack and the other power banks that you might be able to use as a backup power source for the cameras in my next upcoming video. As you can see the camera is hooked up to this battery and it works and records normally. So let's test it out. The next footage that you will see is from the camera itself. I'm going to put the camera in my car dash and use it like a dash cam. Drive around in a neighborhood and see if the camera will record all of that. This is the easiest way to illustrate that this camera will continue recording even without Wi-Fi or internet coverage. So let's fast forward this. By the way, this is the $30 720p camera that I have. So the footage is decent, but not as good and crisp as the 1080p. I know Yi also makes dash cams for cars. I already own one, but a different brand. If not, I can also check out and review their dash cams. Might do it in the near future though. Well, we'll see. There you have it guys. Well, it shows that the Yi home camera will record even without Wi-Fi. So that means if you have it set up in your house with a backup battery, then it will still record footage even when the electricity and the internet is out. So it is just one thing that you can think about when you're setting up these security cameras. At least set up one of your cameras with a backup power supply that in case something happens that the electricity and the internet is out, then you can at least be able to retrieve footage. Also make sure that the camera is somewhat hidden or out of reach so that nobody can steal or vandalize the camera because the recording will be in the micro SD card. But with the Yi cameras though, you can also sign up for their cloud recording storage as a backup. So you'll be able to have a footage even with the worst possible scenario. You know, electricity and internet gets cut 
and your camera gets stolen or destroyed. Hopefully you liked the video guys and I'll be checking out some battery backup alternatives on my next video so stay tuned. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you want more videos of everyday life hacks and product reviews. Thank you.